Or to check the feed, but for sure. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Yep, Khan, we live, bro. Khan, Khan. Hey, Shalom. This is Brother Zagre Mills from Charlotte. Come with another quick Friday night live lesson to the Spirit and Power of Yahweh by Shema Washai. First and foremost, we want to start by giving our praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. To the elders and the apostles, the great millstone to rule well and teach well, and peace and blessings to the hope of the elect, pushing this world with all truth, righteousness, and uh, uh, sincerity. Shalom, 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 shalom. shalom. Hey, so as you can see by the title, man, you know, we're going into holding on to this truth, you know, for dear life, and we're, we're uh, paralleling it to uh, mountain climbing because in mountain climbing. There's a, a term called having three points of contact, right? And in order to, to keep from falling, you have to maintain those three points of contact. And it's the same thing in the, in the ministry, right? You, you want to maintain as many points of contact, you know, in the spirit, you know, as you can you know, to keep from falling away, right? Now, that's right. I wanted to grab this real quick. This is the just a, a Google search on three points of contact. And it says the importance of having three points of contact is to always maintain contact with one hand and two feet or two hands and one foot. If you maintain three points of contact while you climb, you can limit your exposure to slips and falls. Right. So we're maintaining those three points of contact on this climb. Right. So that we that we don't slip and fall away. Right. Because if you, you know, uh, take your focus off. Right then, that's where you can you can be caught off guard. You can, you can be susceptible, you know, to the distractions and the various things of this world, you know, that are meant to pull you away, right? But if you stay rooted, you know, you stay uh, 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 tapped in, right? That's when you can fully, uh, what's the word? Uh, have that that uh, security, you know? You know, you're you're holding yeah. on, you know, for dear life, because that's what this whole thing is. Everything is pulling at you to keep you. Uh, you know, uh, from from holding on, but you know, you maintaining in the ministry is what's going to allow you to be stable in these times, bro. That's right. And if I may add, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, me, I work at the shipyard a lot. You know, I you know work around you know a lot of industrial you know places and stuff like that. And one thing they stress, right, is slip, trips, and falls, man. You see that? You know, so if you you know. Uh, Allow yourself to get, you know, a, a focused on something else. You stop being careless. All right, you're going to slip, fall somewhere, and bust your ass, man. You see that? And this is why it's important, right, to hold on to what we have now, man. You see that? You maintain those three points of contact, right? Because imagine climbing a ladder, right, and you get careless, right? Your ass is going to fall and go splat, you see? So this is why it's very important, man, to hold on to this truth, you know, because brothers all over are being tested, man. You see, yeah. and uh, yeah. and if I may, uh, I'll grab a quick precept real quick. Okay, this is the book. Come this is the book of Hebrews, chapter ten, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start at verse twenty two, and it reads, "Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled uh, from from evil uh, conscience." And our uh, bodies washed with pure water. You see that? So this is why it's important, man, right, to stay in this truth here, man. You see? <laughs> verse, tw verse 23, and it reads, let us hold fast, right, uh, the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that, that promised it. You see that? So this is why it's important, man, to hold fast this truth, man, right? Don't let a woman... Or your job, or you know, some worldly shit, right? Uh, 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 allow you to uh, 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 pretty much fall, man. See, scriptures say, "Set thy eyes on things above, not on things below." Because if you set your eyes on things below, all right, you are going to break your damn leg somewhere, and it doesn't feel good, Jake. All right, and it says, uh, and it says, verse twenty-four: Let us consider one another. To provoke unto love and to good works. You see that? So that's why it's important, man, right? To be occupied in this truth. You know, fuck the woman, right? You know, everything comes, everything, or, or this truth comes before everything, man, right? So you gotta hold hold on tight to what you have, Jake, right? If not, you're gonna, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
you know, that's just like you driving on the road. You see that? And when you drive on the road, you stand in your lane, but you know, a lot of Jake, they get, you know, uh, 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 there's a saying out there, you know, um, you know, stay in your lane, man, right? Because if you start looking in other people's lane, that's you know, you on the damn, uh, uh, they hit a damn median or another car some damn way. You see, so this is why it's important to just, you know, stay focused on that, on that right path, man. You got it, brother. I, I did want to just, uh, sorry, but. Okay, get it? Uh, Con, Con, and I'll, I'll get this definition. Con, you pretty much mentioned uh, staying in your lane. You know, a part of staying in your lane is having a certain schedule and a certain uh, way you do things. I got a, a couple. I got one. This is Bon Sirach, chapter 27, because when you have a, a certain schedule, it builds stability. And that's ultimately uh, what three points of contact is, is about, you know, having that stability. You know, because if you remove you know, one hand and then you just got one hand and then one leg, you know, you got less stability, you know, so what ultimately Hamashiach, you know, abiding in Hamashiach and uh, being persistent and Hamashiach is what gives us that, that stability, you see, but that coincides with uh, diligence because diligence also shows, um, you know, how much you uh, actually care and then your, uh, how, how stable you're going to be, you know. This is Bon Sirach, chapter 27. We'll get verse, um, verse a lot. On Surah 27 and verse 3, it says, Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown, going into the slips, trips, and falls. You know, if you're not being diligent, you're not uh, um, um, showing that persistence, you know, uh, diligence goes into persistence as well. You know, if you're not being diligent in the fear of the Lord, you know, your house is going to, uh, you're going to slip or you're going to fall. You know, you'll be like those in uh, Matthew chapter 7, uh, verses uh, 26 on down, you know, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> But pretty much it starts with the fear of the Lord. You know? Oh, that's pretty much it, though. God. Right. I did want to get this uh, definition for the word hold uh, in the free dictionary. It says to have and keep in one's grasp, right? And that's what we hope to do, is to keep this truth you know, in our grasp. But as the brother mentioned, it, it takes diligence, right? You know, it's a continual fight you know, to, to maintain, right? It says uh, to keep from falling or moving to support, right? So we want to keep from falling, right? As the brother mentioned again, you know, if you take you take a hand off and you reach towards something else, right? You're putting yourself at risk of completely falling out, man. That's why you know maintaining your focus in this thing, maintaining you know keeping your eye on the prize, right? Understand you know the the fight that you're in, you know that you can. You know, keep, stay, you know, pinpoint laser focused on what's going on at hand, you know, which is prophecy, right? Because the whole the whole point of this is, is for us to get salvation. That's what we do do the works for, you know, is to hopefully, you know, endure until the end and, and get that salvation, you know, from these coming uh, perils, man. Um, it That's says right. to keep from departing or getting away, right? Because, you know, we want to keep keep this truth with us, man. Right, we it's gonna be you know a, a mandatory thing you know to make it through these <laughs> these times to come is to have this wisdom knowledge and understanding. Right, without it, you know you're gonna be completely left uh, to the devices of Esau, man, and ultimately to the judgment of the Shemuel Shah. Um, That's right. It says that might be it. Kind of, that's pretty much it. You know, just to to maintain, right? You know, to to, to continue to hold on. Right, and to keep to keep from falling, to keep from getting separated from it, man. Because as scriptures say, you no know, Satan desire to sift you, man. Right? So you wanna if a brother can get that, you know, you know, you could uh <laughs> this is a continual fight to not get sifted out of this, man. And, and in order to keep yeah. from getting sifted, you have to be stable and in being stable, you have to be you know uh, completely immersed in this, man. Right? You can't have one foot in and one foot out. You know, you want to have that that three points of contact, which is really, you know, you know, it'd be seven, eight points of contact, honestly. You know, whether it be, yeah. you know, watching lessons, studying, reading, praying, fasting, you know, fellowshipping with brothers, man. You know, all these things are points of contact that keep you, you know, holding on to this ministry, man, holding on to this truth, you know, for dear life. That's right. And if I may uh, uh, grab a quick uh, uh, scripture and also a quick definition. Um this is the book of uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 13, and it reads, Hold fast the, uh, uh, the form of sound words, which thou hast heard from me 
in faith and love, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see that? So the whole point, you know, of me bringing this precept out, man, is you better hold the hell on, Jake. Hold on to this truth, man. Hold on to these pure sound words, man. Right? And if you don't have, you know, see, because these words, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, man, it's like, it's like that fall protection, man. You see? And a lot of Jake, you know, because, you know, they're not holding on you know that three point of contact. You know, again, you know, Jake will fall down and bust his damn pelvis somewhere, man. Right, and he don't want somebody to feel bad for. And uh, I want to grab this here too. It's uh, the definition of a, a safety, a, a safety lanyard. You see that, and a lot of times, you know, when you're working on ships or places that's high up, and your high rock is out where those men, right? Because we're elevated, we're above two thirds. It says a safety lanyard. Is a length of cord, webbing, or strap that connects a harness to a secure anchor point, preventing uh, it's like preventing the of the wearer from falling to the ground. You see that? And hey, man, this truth right here, man, is like that safety lanyard. You see that Yahweh Shai is like that safety lanyard. And again, you know, if you fall away, right, you're gonna hit the water or the ground, and it's not going to feel good. You see. Uh, it says, uh, uh, it is an essential component of a safety harness and it's used in conjunction with it. The lanyard holds the attach point on the body and connects to an, uh, uh, like it, an attached point at the top of the harness. Uh, it then descends to an anchor, uh, it's like it, to a connector of webbing loop and waist belt, which connects back to the another uh attachment point at the bottom of the safety harness you see that so you know i want to bring this out here man because this truth is like that safety harness man so if you fall right or, or you become weak in the spirit you know that lanyard or that safety lanyard you know is these scriptures here man right so if you find yourself you know uh, uh you know dealing with a woman dealing with your job or your car or whatever the case is right you remember these precepts you see that why it's important, man, to always pray and you know, uh, matter of fact, scripture tell you what to uh, uh, pray without ceasing, man. You know, mm -hmm. because like the brother, you know, a corner wife said, all right, Satan desired to sift you, man. And if a brother got that precept, you know, you can bring it out. Come right, on, I got, I got Luke 22 and verse 31. It says, and, Luke, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I pray for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, it's a continual fight, you know, to, to not get sifted out, man. Right? This is this is the, the whole point. You know, Satan is out here to sift, right? You're gonna be continually tried, continually tested, man. Right? Your resolve, right, your faith, your patience, you know, your uh you know that that willpower, right? All this is gonna be you know tested. You know, in in order to try to get you out, right? But you have to maintain, you know, uh, that uh, that building up, right? You have to continually be building, being built up, you know, so that when these these fights do come, you know, you you can overcome them, man. Because the Lord's not gonna put you into a situation that you can't overcome, but it takes for you, you know, to uh, uh, to stay tapped in. Right. Going back to those three points of contact, man, or just being having that contact uh, in general, man. You know? Yeah. Con, that's, that's, why, right. uh, that's why uh, King David, you know, he said, uh, let his integrity uh, hold him. You know, because going back, you said, uh, yeah, it made a point, but pretty much um, it, it, it ties into integrity. You know, doing the right things at the right times, you know, making sure that you're doing the things necessary uh, in, in the scriptures. You know, that's why the scriptures say to uh let me get that real fast this is uh second corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8 or verse 5 it says examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith prove your own selves know ye not your own selves because you know you should know your spirit it says how that yahweh shah mashiach is in you except ye be repro reprobates all right but pretty much examine yourself you know know the things that uh uh, the things that you got to do, you know, stuff you got to make adjustments on, you know, so that, uh, you know, you don't slip and fall uh, at the times that we coming up into the perilous times. Yeah, that's right. You know, because when you slip and fall, right, and bust your damn head to the white meat some damn way, right, then that's when you want somebody to feel bad. So this is why it's very important 
to constantly examine, man. Constantly see what the hell is going on. You know, constantly be tapped into the spirit, man. Because if not, you know, it's it, it it's never a pretty outcome, man. All right, and 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 your flesh hitting the ground, all right, at a high height, man. It does not feel good, Jake. You see, because ultimately we're here to do what, man? Run a race. You see, to receive that prize, man. And what's the prize to be crowned by your Howard Shy? You see, so we're all trying to climb that ladder, right, to receive that prize, man. I want to grab this here. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 24, and it reads, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all but one receiving for prize? You see? So run that ye may obtain. You see that? So, you know, you can't be careless in this thing, you know, because you got Jake just run as fast as they can. Then they wind up burning out some damn where you see that because Jake is, you know, Jake, you know, going too fast, just like how you uh going down some steps. You're supposed to maintain, you know, three points of contact, have this foot here, you know, or whatever the case is. And what wind up happening? Jake, you know, usually slip and bust his ass some damn way. You see Got that? So, God. Hey, get that run. word run in the blue letter. Let Con, that too. Uh, pretty much, you said to not burn yourself out and then I go back to examining and then also annoying yourself you know so that you can know what you what you can and what you can't do you know what what's gonna be the vices um for your own spirit you know right that's right let me see i'm gonna grab it my brother let me see here uh you said uh first corinth let me see here uh the word is run let me see here did i grab the right one yeah 925 schlock 924 schlock it brothers you see it 924. The word is run, and it's uh G uh G5143. And the definition is uh let me see here. It says run, have have course uh to run uh a person of haste and stock in haste of one who run in a race course uh the doctrine rapidly uh step uh propagated uh to spend one's strength in performing or or attaining something uh let me see i can grab the strongest strongest definition it says uh as as alternate in certain tensions to run or walk hastily uh yeah to have uh have have course run you know so that was pretty much what i had brother unless it was something else you want me to Right I just want to hear. I just want to see uh, see what they said. But I mean, it's just you know, continuing to move, you know, hastily, right? But in doing so, man, maintaining that balance, maintaining that that stability, right? Because it's a lot. It's a lot That's of right. Jake out here, you know, who who are running, but they 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 don't have that balance, man. They don't have that those points of contact. They're they're climbing right the same mountains that we're climbing, but they don't have that that safety harness. Right, so when they yeah. slip, they don't have anything to catch them. Right? Yeah. So we, if we slip, you know, we we get caught, you know, and we can continue to keep climbing, man. Right? It might yeah. hurt, but you know, yeah. we we still got an opportunity to, to make it back up. We don't fall completely to the wayside, man. Yeah. You know what I think about uh, how they showed that one bug out. I want to call they uh they call him the. The fallen man or something like that, that dude that jumped out the World Trade Center. All right, a lot of Jakes is in that spirit, man, because they don't have that, uh, they don't have that safety harness on, man. They they don't have his truth. You see that? So, you know, as soon as when Jake start to feel the fire, all right, Jake said, fuck it and jump out the window, you see? And you know, and again, look like a damn uh a pile of damn uh of, of pudding at the bottom, man. You see? So this is why it's important, man, to you know, run this race here, man, but don't burn yourself out and also maintain that three points of contact. I'm gonna continue in this uh uh first Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-five. Here's the point. Every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. You see, so this is the point here, man. You know, to always you know stay occupied in these scriptures. Right, uh, 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 you know, don't go too fast, man. Take your time. You see that because you know if you don't have this 
this hedge of protection about you, man. All right, you're gonna fall, and again, you're gonna uh, land right on your damn tailbone somewhere. You got it, brother. Got it, cause brother, hold uh, Proverbs four and thirteen. Yeah, good time. And then uh, Sirach six and thirty-four. Huh. Say Proverbs so four and what? I got Proverbs uh, four and thirteen. Oh, okay, God. And what was the other one you called for, brother? Uh Sirach uh, six and thirty-four. God, I got it. Yeah, you want? God, this is uh Proverbs, I'm gonna show you chapter four and verse thirteen. It says, "Take hold of instruction; let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life." All right. So this instruction, right, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is something that you take fast hold of, man. You know, get a firm grip on it, right, and don't let it go. And why does it say don't let it go? It says, for she is thy life, right? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is what's going to give us life, right? It's what gives us, it's what's going to give us prosperity. It's what's going to give us eternal life. But it's what's going to get us, you know, uh, out of this place, man, right? It's what's going to get us on the chariot, right? It's what's going to get us. You know, to that uh, uh, that salvation, right? So it's going to get us through Jacob's trouble, right? So you take fast hold of it, man, right? You 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 grab uh, grab onto it and and you know as, as tight as possible, right? And don't let go, right? Just like if you climb in a mountain, right? Every time you reach for something, you grabbing onto it and you you are holding fast to it, you know, because you know if you slip, that could be it, man, right? So you hold you hold on tight, right? Because this is our life. Without this, then we're 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 through. We're done for, man. That's right. God. Um, this is the book of Sirach, chapter six. I'm gonna start at verse thirty-four, and it reads: "Stand in the multitude of the elders, and cleave unto him that is wise." Ooh. Yeah, so you uh, can, verse you start, cleave yeah. unto those wise men, man. Right, starting with our apostles and elders on down. You know, we we understand that the Lord is dealing with these men. So what are we doing? We're cleaving unto the the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashimel Shai that's that's permeating from them, man. Right? So all these things, I want to look at this word cleave real quick. It says, this is according to the Merriam Webster dictionary, it says to cleave, to adhere firmly and closely or loyally, unwaveringly. Right, so un, an unwavering uh, uh, attentiveness, man. Right, adherence firmly. Right, you you grabbing a hold of it, you know, and you not letting go for anything, man. You un unmovable. Right, the scriptures talk about being unmovable at these times. Right, but in order to be unmovable, you gotta be holding on to something. Right, and you gotta have that stability from those those points of contact. Right, just going back to being, you know, uh, tapped in. Uh, to what's going on out here, man. We're tapped into the ministry. That's right. I got a quick one. God, go ahead. This is Ibarium, also uh, Hebrews chapter 4. Actually, not get verse 11. I mean, chapter 11. This is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Because essentially, uh, oh, no one is going to give stability, but it truly goes back to, you know, the, the belief and the faith. This is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, you see. So what's actually, uh, you know, giving us that stability is, uh, you know, ties into that faith, you know, believing and, and uh, what we standing on, you know. That's pretty much everybody's going to confide into something, you know, but it's going to be uh, the elect is going to confide in the, in the true confidence, you know, while this world is holding on to uh, carnality, you know, they, they're going to hold on to that, um, those uh, untempered mortars, those false sense of uh, securities mentioned in Ezekiel, the 13th chapter, you know. That's right. That's right. I got a, I got a quick one. Right, go ahead. This is the book, the same chapter. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 6. And I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 22. It says, for wisdom is according to her name. And she is not manifested unto many. That's right. You, you know, so a lot of Jake out here, all right, they don't have this truth or this wisdom. You see that? Sophia, man. All right, in verse 23, give ear, my son, receive my advice and refuse not my counsel and put thy feet unto her fetters and thy neck unto her chain. All right, so he's supposed to hold on to the truth, man. 
All right? Uh-huh. Maintain those maintain those three points of contact. Versus, uh, versus 20. Now you got it, brother. I'm about to say, if I could mention, too, it said uh, the fetters, which fetters, it, it, uh, it said the, uh, your feet into her fetters. Yo, uh, yes, sir. Uh, put And put thy feet. Yes, sir. Yep, correct. Con, so pretty much be captivated. Be, uh, you know, how these people be like, uh, you know, you got people that they'll be into college football. You know, Jake be into uh, NFL sports. You know, so how, how Jake is captivated by these things, you know, pretty much. Uh, be into wisdom, you know, 10 times more. The scriptures say to seek the Lord 10 times more. So pretty much allow wisdom, pr- pretty much be addicted to the wisdom, you know? That's right. I'm going to keep going here. Um, Sirach chapter 6, I'm going to read uh, verse 25. Bow down thy shoulders and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with, uh, like, with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. You see that? So you're supposed to always, right, maintain three points of contact. You know, the brothers keep tying it back, man. Right? Maintain three point of contact. You know, it's truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You know, and if you're not maintaining, the three points of contact again and get ready for a slip, trip, or fall. Jay, uh, you got it, brother. Down, Bob Kashaw, because uh, brother grab Second Thessalonians 2 and 15, and then grab it in the NLT as well. Come, Second Thessalonians, I, I grab it in NLT. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15. Like it. 215. And I'm going to grab it in the NLT. Let me see. You mean grabbing the KJV first? Uh, kind of, kind of, yeah, we're good. Yes, sir. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15. It reads, Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by words or our epistles. Right. So you see these these video epistles going out. Right. You see the highway teachings. Right. Brothers is camping as we speak. Right. There's yeah. always teaching going out. Right. It's always the spirit of how about Shimei was shy, you know, uh, going forth and it's giving you an opportunity to grab hold. Right. And like it says, you know, hold the traditions which you have been taught, you know, whether whether by word or our epistle. man. Right. So just going back to that. Now, holding on for dear life, man. Are right? you giving the, you're being given a chance, right? That 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 ladder is coming by, and you can hold you you, you got to grab onto it, man. You either grab a That's grab right. a hold of it. It's like a what's it called? One of those rescue helicopters, right? And they uh, drop the ladder uh, down. Uh, yeah. And you you, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Definitely. you get a chance to grab on to it, and you're going to grab on, and you're going to hold on until you get pulled up. And that's what we're doing. We're holding on until we, you know, Lord willing, get pulled up into these chariots, man. That's right, brother. Come. Uh, Second Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 15, in the NLT, and it reads, With all these things in mind, dear brothers and sisters, stand firm and keep a strong grip on the teachings we passed on to you, both in person and by letter. Ooh. Keep a strong grip, man. A strong grip. That's right. Right. Hold on to it like your life depends on it, because it does, man. Right. right. Your, your legacy in the kingdom depends on it. Your salvation depends on it. Right. Your household uh, name in the kingdom depends on it. Right. You know, all these things are, are uh, <laughs> depending on you holding on, you keeping a strong grip. And to keep a grip on something, you know, again, we go back. You got to be rooted. You got to have that solid foundation, you know, and that comes from having those those points of contact in the ministry, man. Right. Again, just whether it's, you know, being around the brothers. Right. You know, being at the camps. Right. Doing your lessons. You know, reading. Right. Give attendance to reading, as scriptures say. Right. You know, getting your studying in. Right, watching the videos, taking notes, 
all these things, praying and fasting, right? These are all points of contact that are going to give you that stability, right? So that you won't be shaken, right? And this is that's you having that strong grip, right? And you holding on to the that's teachings right. that have been passed down to you, man. That's right. I got a quick one, yeah. if I may. First Thessalonians chapter 5, I'm going to start at verse 20. It reads, despise not prophesying, all right? Prove all things, and it reads, hold fast that which is good. You see that? So, you're again, you know, tying everything back. All right, you better hold on, Jake, because it's going to be a, a, a very bumpy, man. It's going to be a bumpy ride, man. All right, and if you're not holding on tightly, all right, you know, just like a roller coaster to go up and down, if you're not strapped down or have some kind of safety protection or, you know, fall protection and all of that, man, again, you know, I got to keep saying it is not going to result in a good, uh, in a good, uh, or it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be looking too good out there, man. You see, right. and, and you know, and a lot of Jake out there, they're not holding on to the truth. Jake is holding on to sports, right? Holding on to box, holding on to money and all that, you know. But us brothers, Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Rath Desire, we're holding on to this truth, man. We're holding on to the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. See? That's right. You got it, brother. God, Bible Shah, because brother get um, Hebrews 2 and 1, and then we'll hold Ta First Timothy four and thirteen, and we'll read through sixteen. I get that Hebrew. Huh. And what was the second one, brother? It was First Timothy four and thirteen, and we'll read through sixteen. Huh. Huh. This is huh. Hebrew chapter two and verse one. It says, "Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard." Lest at any time we should let them slip. God, you know, take heed, right? You know, take heed to all these things, man. Pay attention, right? These warnings are going out for a reason because it's giving you an opportunity of salvation, man. right? So you take heed, you grab hold on this, right? And you don't let go under any circumstances, man. You know, for anything, not for anything or for anyone, right? Because there's nothing in this world. You know, that that can compare you know, to you getting that salvation. Now, there's nothing in this world that that can replace you know, the 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 reward that you how about you know, is coming to bring, man. Right. So if you you once you take grasp on it, man, you got you got to hold on for dear life, man. No matter how hard things get shaken, right. No matter how much it's pulling away at you, right. You got you got to get a firm, tight grip, man. And going back, you can't just hold on with one hand. Right, you gotta you gotta get rooted. You gotta have that, that you know, one well, hand, a foot, right? If you gotta bite down with your teeth, you know, however you can do it, right? That's you having all those those forms of contact that you don't get shaken, that you maintain that that uh immovability, man. Huh? That's right. There's a saying out there, right? Get a grip. <laughs> hey man, you better get a yeah. grip to the truth, man. You see that? And, and if you don't have a, a, a firm grip, now you're gonna slip. <laughs> I got that. Uh, who was it? First Timothy, what? Uh, four and thirteen. Oh, God, this is this is the book of First Timothy, chapter four, verse thirteen. It reads: Till I come, give attendance unto reading, to exhortion, to doctrine. Mm -hmm. Verse fourteen. More, more, yeah, more forms of contact, right? So like, you know, giving giving attendance to reading, right? Giving attendance to exhortation, giving attendance to doctrine, right? That's just another another three uh, forms of contact, man. You know, that's right. Verse fourteen: Le Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given by like, which was given by the prophecy, with the laying on of hands and uh, presbytery. Mm -hmm. Verse, verse verse 15, meditate upon these things and give thyself wholly to them that that thy profiting may appear to all. Verse 16, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt be saved, like thou shalt both save thy life, like it thou Thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. 
That's it, man. You know, continuing in right. this thing, man. Right, endurance. Right, that's that's the the name of the game. He that endures until the end, the same shall be saved. Right. So we we pray for a greater endurance, man. You know, we pray, you know, that that the Lord blesses with the Spirit to just, to keep fighting, man, to keep pushing, to keep taking steps forward. Right. He might take, you know, ten steps one day. Right. But he might take one step the next day. But the point is to to, right. to not take steps back. Right. It's to always be pushing forward. You know. If, even if you got an inch forward, right? If we come, if we go crawling into the kingdom, so be it, man. Right? Yeah. So this, so we we just want to keep keep pushing, man. That's it. And like I said, That's man, right. you know that you can save yourself and then that hear thee, right? Because we 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 do this for the believers as well, right? You now we do this to to, yeah. to to build up the spirit uh, of you listeners out there, man. You know, every brother, and that's the beauty of the body is that every every brother that's pushing. Right, you watch a brother's lesson, it inspires you to do a lesson. The lesson you do, a brother's gonna see, it's gonna inspire him, and it, it just you know it, it builds and builds and builds, man. Right, and that's all you know, uh, you know us us uh, establishing you know that that uh, those points of contact, right? Just going back to that again, you know, so that we're all rooted, so that we all have that firm foundation, you know. That's right. I got a quick one. God. Actually, 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 I got a few of them. Um, First Timothy chapter six, verse seventeen, and reads: Charge them that are rich in this world, that they might not like that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in in the living power, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. See that? Let's keep going here. That they do good, that they be rich in good works. Ready to uh, distribute, willing to communicate. You see that? So let's keep going here. Well, verse nineteen it reads: "Laying up the laying up in store for yourselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on what eternal life." You see that? So this is why it's very important, man. Right to be occupied in these scriptures here, man. Right within hopes that you know. Uh, uh, that we may lay hold right on eternal life. You see that? Because if you let go of that, all right, you're going to be destroyed. Now in the kingdom, right, you're going to be all right. But, you know, lay hold unto this truth, man. Right? Because again, you know, we're ultimately fighting for that crown. This is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. It reads, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. You see that? Which is the truth. That no man take thy what? Take thy crown. You see that? So lay hold on this truth. Maintain those three points of contact, Jake. You see? Uh, I got one more. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 14. It reads. Oh, if I may say. For we uh, are. No, you got it right. Like Just land back in off that, the, uh, that revelation, man. Right? The crown is there, man. Right? You got you yeah. to hold on it right now. You know? If yeah. you believe, if you're listening to this. Right, and you have faith, right? You you you're holding on to that crown, right? Now you got you got to put both hands on it, man, right? And no yeah. matter how hard it gets shaken, you know, no matter what what's pulling the way at it, man, right? You you cannot let go, right? Let no sure. man take thy crown under under any circumstances, man, right? No matter what you're fighting with, no matter what you're dealing with, that's why it's important, you know, to stay prayed up, to stay fasted up, right? To stay in contact with brothers, man. Because that's going to strengthen your spirit, you know, that, so that you, you can hold on for dear life, man. That's right. God, I got one more. Uh, Hebrews God. chapter 3, verse 14. And it reads, for we are made partakers of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, right? If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto what? To the end. You know, one of you brothers can break that down, you know, because I mean... I mean, it's it's pretty much self-explanatory, man. Right? Hold these things that you have, man. You see that until the end. You see, because if you, you know, because we're right there at the end, man. You let go of that crown, or you know, allow yourself to get focused on something else. You know, you're gonna find yourself saying, you know, or, or you're gonna wind up hearing yourself saying, "Ah," and probably like, "Damn, Johnny Cage," or, or uh, or damn, uh, what's his name, uh, Johnny Quest, some damn weird, man. All right. 
And especially if you don't have that lanyard, man. You know, which is the truth. You see? The scriptures say what? Uh, um, uh, I am written in a volume of a book. You see that? Which is Yahweh Shai. So you're always supposed to be occupied, right? And reading. You know, and I tell Jake all the time, I say, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a five minute lesson, right? 10 minute lesson, you know, just just stay occupied in these scriptures, man. Right. Don't let other shit of the world, you know, make you waver, man. You see that? Because if you waver and you fall out right, and you let go of those three points of contact, that's your ass. You got it, brothers. I got appreciate for you, bro. This is um. Second Peter 1 and 10 in the NLT, it reads, so dear brothers and sisters, work hard to prove that you really are among those the most highest called and chosen. Do these things and you will never fall away. I mean, I mean, you pretty, I mean, that's, that's very self-explanatory there, man. All right. Hold on again to this truth, man. Right, within hopes that you don't fall away somewhere. You see that if you think about a rock climber like the brother Quanta Wap brought out in the beginning, right? How a rock climber holds the three points of contact. What happened if he let go? Right, he go plummeting down to the earth. You just had a Jake that you know I want to say he was like five hundred or thousand feet in the air. Right, and guess what? You know he slipped. You see that? And by the time they found his body, man, they found his ass all over here and his face all over there, and you know legs and shit. Right. So, again, don't fall out this truth, Jake, because scripture tell you what that, uh, a man that wandered. I, I, I don't know if I mentioned that a man that wandered out the way of, uh, of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You see that? So you doing I mean, this work. No, you got it, brother. Kind of, I was just getting the uh, scripture because we quoted it. This is Proverbs uh -huh. 20, 16. It says the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Now, this is going this is going to actual um you know um uh, a what do you call it deliberate you know uh wandering but then also it can go into actual wandering like if you was to go on like a boat and it's like all right well your, your intention is to stay near the boat you can be in like a floaty and it kind of drift away that's why the scripture tell you mm -hmm. to make sure you, you're putting on as the elect you know because you know one that is in that particular spirit you know They'll drift away. They're, they're wander out of the congregation of the dead. You see, and that's why the Lord has brothers around to, you know, as those uh, way markers, you know, to to give you warnings through the Spirit. You know, but then also that uh, the self reflection has to take uh, account as well. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, just land back on that point. This is Proverbs. Yeah. 20, this is Proverbs 24 and verse 30. It says, "I went by the the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding, going to to those." That's in the congregation that did. It says, and low it was covered, slot, and low it was all grown over with thorns, and nettles had covered the face thereof, and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw and considered it well. I looked upon it and received instruction. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man, so you'll be brought low. You know, if you make the uh, deliberate decision, you know, to leave the, uh, the, the, the truth, you know. Mm -hmm. That's uh, right. Because what's the alternative, man? Right. Like what else? Is, what do you have out here that, that can compare? Right. Now, what is, but we, we understand that going to Esau for help is, is going to lead to your confusion. Right. Leaning upon your own understanding. Right. You go. You, you going to end up in, in the congregation of the dead. Right. You know, all these things, look, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is, is the only thing that matters at the end of the day, man. And you got you to gotta take hold of this and not let go, man, right? You got you, gotta, you really have to hold on because the, this world is anti-Hamashiach, anti, anti man. So it's going to do everything in its power to separate you from, uh, from your faith, man. You know, so stay tapped right. in, right? Because you, you can't do this alone. Right, that's the, the what the body is here for, man. Right, so you have you have to continue to stay uh, again contact, right? It, it, in any form or fashion, right? You gotta have have yourself rooted, you know, in this ministry, man. That's right. That's right. As a matter of fact, uh, 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 uh I forget one of them damn Eves. They wrote that song. Go 
let go, right? And if you let go, man, you know, you're going to be destroyed, man. You see? Yeah. I got I got one more. Uh, Revelation chapter 3. And I'm going uh, to jump straight to the point in verse 3 because, you know, uh, I was shy. He was talking to the church of uh, Sardius. And uh, Shlaki, uh, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce Sardius. And it reads verse 3. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent you see that so you gotta hold fast man right into this truth wisdom knowledge and understanding man because if you go somewhere else you know anyway if therefore thou shalt stop and therefore thou shalt not watch you see that so you're supposed to watch right observe the times you know observe you know what you're doing here man right observe to see if you're still holding on you know those three points of contact it says, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. You see that? So, you know, it's important, man, right, to hold on to what you have, man, which is this truth. You know, ask the Lord to allow you to climb higher and higher and to elevate, man. You know, I mean, that's pretty much all I had, man, because when you think about it, the higher you climb a ladder, Right, and you start to get unfocused, and you look back, and all that. As a matter of fact, scripture tell you that uh, that he that put his hand to the plow, and looking back, you know, it's not fit for the kingdom. So a lot of people they fall, you know, once they start climbing because they look back and they fall, their hands get all sweaty and all of that, you know. So, you know, this true fear, brothers, you know, is what elevates us, man. Right. So again, you know, going back to the brother Quanah Walsh lesson, man, you know, uh, maintain those three points of contact, man. You got it, brother. God, uh, Bible to the brother grab um, Colossians 2 and 6, or read verse 6 and 7. And I'm gonna get this. Uh, this is the, for the word rooted. This is the book of Colossians, uh, verse 2. And you said start where? Uh, start in verse 6. Yes, sir. Colossians 2, verse 6. As ye have therefore received Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Lord. So walk ye in him, uh, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, yes. abounding uh, therein with thanksgiving. Got it, brother. Mm -hmm. You go into that word rooted, you know, just a common definition. It says, uh, ebbed, fixed, firmly established, implanted, deep rooted, entrenched, ingrained. Ooh. Right, it says, unable to move from, frozen to, uh, riveted to, paralyzed to, glued to, fixed to. Uh, it says, as still as a statue, as if it turned to stone, motionless, unmoving, man. Right, so to be rooted, right, is to be firmly, you know, entrenched. Right, you think about roots, you know, the deeper the roots go, the harder it is to, to pull a plant up, man. Right. Because yeah. those roots, you know, are reaching out in all different ways, man. They're reaching towards all the nutrients. And that's what that's what brothers strive to do. You know, we're reaching towards all the <laughs> anything spiritual that we can get, you know, through the spirit and probably how about Shimmy was shy, man. You know, all spiritual facets of the ministry, you know, those are things that we're reaching towards to, to hold on to, right? So that when we start when it starts getting shaken, when things start to get unstable, we have that stability, right? We have that that Isaiah 33 and 6, man, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. I got a quick one, if I may. You know, because you got to be rude in this thing, man. You know, uh, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24, and it reads, No man can serve two masters, for either, either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the Most High and Mammon. You see that? So, you know, you can't, you know, be trying to you know, hold on to the ladder and reach somewhere else. You know, if not, you know, you're going to fall down some damn way, man. Right? That was pretty much the point, brother. God, I mean, that's all I had, man. You know, just you know, hold on, right? Yeah. You know, it's it's not it's not going to be much longer, man. Right? That's you know, right. You, we got we got to keep holding, you know, for dear life, man, because if your life is at stake, right? Your salvation is at stake. You know, so this, this is what That's we right. continue to do. We continue to pray for each other, you know, that, that we hold on to maintain and endure, 
No, until the end, right? Uh, right to the end. That's right. Uh, I got this else? scripture. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you know, I'm, I got the scripture. You know, since you quoted it, Saint Matthew twenty four verse uh, thirteen, where he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Just pretty much lining back up what you just said, brother. You know, hold on to the end, man. All right, this is how you're going to be saved. You see, maintain those three points of contact. You got it, Kwanwa. Okay. Hey. So, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson to the spirit and probably how about Shemel Shai. We want to close by giving our praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and teach well and peace and blessings to you brothers out there pushing this word with our truth. Righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. Hey, Kwame Shalom. Brother, and a Bob. Bob, Yashua. Hey, DTA. Hey, we almost got Shalom.